conflicts between predictions and observations in the Big Bang theory aren't limited to the crisis in cosmology. Despite the theory's ongoing popularity, nearly every prediction about it clashes with increasingly accurate data. On the flip side, these observations align more with a non-expanding universe and the absence of a Big Bang. The real crisis in cosmology may be that the Big Bang explosion never actually happened, and time might not have a starting point, or worse, it might not exist at all. Stephen Hawking's take on this is summed up in his statement, the universe has no clear bang. In 1981, cosmologists gathered at the Pontifical Academy of Sciences to discuss groundbreaking ideas. Stephen Hawking presented what he considered his most significant idea, a proposal on how the universe could emerge from nothingness. Before this, all cosmological origin stories faced the common question, what happened before that? The Big Bang theory rewinds the expansion of the universe to a hot, dense bundle of energy. But where did the initial energy come from? Challenges with the Big Bang led to the introduction of cosmic inflation in 1980. Alan Guth proposed this additional factor to explain the smoothness of the universe. However, issues with initial conditions persisted. Enter Stephen Hawking, who suggested a universe without a clear beginning or end. That no boundary proposal envisions the universe as a sphere gradually expanding from a point of zero size. This concept challenges our understanding of time. Hawking and James Hartle's proposal introduces a timeless, boundaryless version of space-time. Imaginary time replaces initial time, addressing the question of what existed before the Big Bang. The universe becomes a singular point in both space and time, lacking a conventional starting point. This Hartle-Hawking state is a wave function of the universe, describing its entire past, present, and future simultaneously. Evidence against the Big Bang comes from various fronts, starting with the emergence of light elements. Observations of lithium and helium in old stars contradict Big Bang predictions. The galaxy origin of light elements hypothesis suggests these elements were created by early stars, challenging Big Bang nucleosynthesis predictions. This alternative explanation aligns better with observed data and the evolution of stars. Discoveries of colossal structures challenge the expected timeline of conventional cosmology. Lerner's theory, dating back to 1986, predicts a fractal structure of the universe, including large structures with diameters of billions of light years. These structures would take hundreds of billions of years to form, contradicting the proposed age of the universe. Dark matter, a key element in the Big Bang theory, faces challenges. Experiments on Earth and astronomical observations cast doubt on the existence of predicted dark matter particles. The ultrafine distribution needed for the Big Bang clashes with observed matter and the configuration of satellite galaxies contradicts expectations. Simpler alternatives, not involving the Big Bang, can explain data. Electric forces, proposed by scientists like Parrott and Green over 30 years ago, could account for constant rotation speeds in spiral galaxies, challenging the need for dark matter. This challenge is long-standing evidence used to support the dark matter hypothesis. I hope this meets your requirements. If you have any specific areas you'd like to adjust or elaborate on, feel free to let me know.